so welcome back guys we're back with another video and in this video we're going to see how to create a character in Adobe Fuse assemble it clothing it and animating it and afterwards we'll export it to unity so let's get straight on to it selecting the head as you can see Adobe Fuse is still in beta version so it has many bugs and it shows not responding whenever we create something new so yeah So now our character is assembled, we should apply clothes to it, not a nude character, so yeah I think that should be nice, bottoms, shoes, canvas, He must look cool. So help of saw. No, no hats, no I wear beard, yes. No gloves, no mask. Yes. He's looking so madly. Now we can start animating it. We have created our character. So to start animating it, simply send it to Mixamo and we'll name it as Bitman. Casual. So let's wait until it exports. I'm pausing the video, guys. So now our processing is complete and it has led us to this page. So so let's finish it yes use this character sure we want to animate it we should open it in google chrome because working with graphics in mixamo webgl graphics is little bit slow let's close this Let's wait until it's done. It's loading. So now our character is done uploading now we should download it format fbx for unity and we should download it as depots now hit download button now let's I'm going to apply idle motion to it. So we'll search for idle motion which looks good. So I think this looks good. Yeah. Now we'll download this but this time without skin because we are only going to download this the bone animations the bone animations not the skin because if we are going to import it to unity so we have to two times import the all the textures and all the model so we are only importing the bone at the second time so i think it says 
significant decrease in size it was 10 mb it was some size in kbs 500 600 kb so now we'll just go copy it and paste it to our folder my character now close this close this yeah close it off is also now jump back to unity yeah it is importing take some time though the material is user texture as a normal map the texture must be marked as a normal map ok we will fix it fix now so now our character has been here look but what <laughs> he looks transparent so how to fix this we are going to get it now when you click on your character go to rage and select humanoid and we'll apply it afterwards you're going to configure this yes save this scene yeah nothing much to do in this because it's already configured so let's click done now after that the animation which we are going to which we created for this character should also be a humanoid so let's select humanoid apply and we'll configure it yes done now what we're going to do next is in our scene where's the camera there's it so let me talk first about the environment the environment is very good i have searched for this free asset it's called rocky hills environment light pack it's done by toby fredson and it's a beautiful work so after that you can also see my graphics are not the same as the standard graphics which you get in unity because i have followed a tutorial by breakage in which how to get good graphics in unity and applied some post processing effects to it so there is the camera go to the top view now i have also imported the standard assets characters now prefab yes the x coordinate should be same so that sits in the center so now character lies in the center camera should be near him though yeah i think that look nice and the camera should be tagged as main camera okay after that attach the camera to third person render it's not attached childhood so now you will see the behavior yes it's awesome now we are going to get this in our character so my character just place it into third person side gaze view going to size him a little bit down so I'm resizing it because we don't have the problem in jump animations or else you can have the same size and adjust the jump animation so now as you can see our character is little bit transparent so how we're going to do fix this every component which has a shader attached to it should be have a rendering mode of opaque so body opaque bottoms opaque 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 
and the last one okay so now our character is created now just edit all the components related with Ethan in the third person controller so now when we hit play our character is moving but we don't have the behavior we want it's not animating so we are going to fix it in the third person controller it's not the Eden avatar now it's the avatar which we have created fit, fitman canvas this is it now go click on here so we can navigate to third person controller animator so in the animator we have this base layer when we double click this grounded it will show a blend tree now replace this humanoid idle motion with the motion we have got so we'll lock it we'll navigate to our animation this is our animation there sitting right here so now we have done it now what happens when we hit play yeah we get the behavior we want so he can run he can jump he can crouch he can crouch and walk he can walk yes pretty much all the behavior we want so let's try to jump in yeah so that's all for this video guys and hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it you can hit the like button and if you don't enjoy it also feel free to hit the dislike button and if you want more awesome content like this you can subscribe also so thanks for watching guys hope you like it